Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Going to be doing a really hot pod today, I believe. And this was sent to me from John Ford. And he is of Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants, Pepper King, Seeds, Plants, and Pepper. John Ford from Eugene, Oregon. All right, and the one we're going to be doing today is the Brazilian Ghost Pepper. Uh, take a look at that, everybody. And the results... Uh, Test results so were just announced today. Um, the first initial test is comes in at 1,430,000 Scoville units on this uh, this baby. And this is a three-way um, hybrid uh, cross between the Butchalokia, the Seven Pot Dugla, and the Trinidad Scorpion. Um, the variety is unstable cross, but it is showing promising characteristics. It was created by Jose uh, Renato in Brazil and is a Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants exclusive. And I do believe seeds are available now, so check out his website. Uh, the variety is unstable and may vary in shape, size, and color uh, from year to year. But uh, beautiful looking pod. Once again, this is the Brazilian Ghost Pepper from John Ford. I want to go ahead and um, <clears throat> cut this one open and take a look at it. Not going to take any seeds or anything. I don't do that. But just want to see what the insides look like. Okay, see if I can do this with holding the stem. Okay, here we go, everybody. Get a good shot of that. That's what the insides look like. Nice looking placenta. Full of oil. Let's check out the aroma. Wow, very, um, very strong. Hmm. Seems like it has kind of a green smell to it. Something, it's a little bit different than some of the other super hots that you smell. Yeah, a real kind of a strong, it is floral smelling, but something green about it. It really smells good. Once again, get a good shot of the insides. I'm shaking, look at that. <laughs> okay. This is the pepper. Pop off the, the stem. Here we go, everybody. Brazilian ghost pepper. get the thing down very floral tasting um, yeah not the favorite flip not my favorite flavor um, very very a strong floral taste with um, a little bit of sweetness really not bitter but with this so much capsaicin so much placenta on a super hot like this um, you know testing that high it's going to seem to taste maybe a little bitter because of the capsaicin oil. Um, but not too bad a flavor. Kind of the heat's um, 
rising a little bit up into the sinus area because I tried to chew it nice and long. I think you get a better, um, you chew it up as long as you can. It's better for your stomach and, you know, better, you know, you get the better sense of the flavor as well the longer you chew it. Um, all over, all over mouth burn, just staying in the mouth. Uh, super fiery hot oven type burn all over the insides of the mouth. Um, evenly. <clears throat> we'll see what this one does. <clears throat> Steadily increasing. Um, it's probably maybe going to be a little bit of slow builder because of that one third ghost pepper. I can tell um, this one's going to be a, a nice burn. I just hope it's not a gut bomb, but it's got a nice burn to it. I like this type of burn. It's not going to the back of the throat yet or anything. It's got me salivating and drooling quite a bit. Tearing up like usual, loosening up the sinuses. <clears throat> Wow, man, this is pretty hot. It's getting a little bit hard to talk, but um, it's just staying to the uh, around the insides of the mouth, not really attacking the throat, but it's on the roof of the mouth, um, all over the tongue, and especially on the roof of the mouth right now. Oh, dragon breath going on, hot, fiery burn. Numbing um, a little bit all over the inside of the mouth, slight numbing sensation. <sighs> so far, um, doesn't seem to be, believe me, it's hot, <laughs> but uh, not uh, so much that I'm uh, going into panic mode or uh, anything like that, but it is super hot. You watched enough of my videos and my pod reviews. I think you could tell when uh, when I think something's pretty hot and when it's not so hot. But I can handle this. Whew. Yeah, good burn. A nice burn for the most part staying in the mouth roof of the mouth all over the insides of the mouth not really the throat nice endorphin rush kicking in got me my white eyes watering uh, excuse me there goes the burp letting out that pepper gas Whew. Yeah, I'm enjoying this burn. This is a good one. This is what I was hoping for. Yeah, I definitely think it's peaked. It's not getting any hotter, but it's not going away. Yeah, this is a good one. Give it a little bit more time here. It's definitely peaked. The best way to describe it, guys, is just uh, this is a mouth burn. Uh, not really attacking the back of the throat, just, just slightly, but an all over mouth burn, tongue burn, roof of the mouth burn, fiery, hot, uh, oven type heat. 
nice endorphin rush. And what I found once you do, once you eat these super hots, guys, um, I don't drink anything. I don't drink anything in the heat until the heat's completely gone. I don't need to rush for milk or anything like that. I wait for the heat to be completely gone, which after this video, which I'll end here in another minute or so, will be another probably 10 minutes, 10 to 15 good minutes. Then maybe I'll have something to drink. But uh, in my opinion, nothing makes heat go away. The only thing that makes the burn go away is time. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, uh, coming down a little bit now, a little bit easier to talk, uh, but great burn on this one, John. Woo. Not the best flavor. Pretty strong floral flavor. Had a good smell to it, a unique smell to it. Something different, something kind of green smelling along with that floral. A little bit of slight, a slight sweetness that I picked up. Tears are still coming down. Wow, that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. Okay. Whew. All right, congratulations, John, on that test results. Uh, Brazilian ghost pepper coming in at 1,430,000. John said he's going to continue to do some more result, uh, testing so he can get a good ballpark figure. Each pod could be different, of course, uh, but definitely the heat's up there on this one. So, John, thanks so much for sending that. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, check out John Ford, Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants. <clears throat> He is the Pepper King. Find him on Facebook. The website is FordsFieryFoodsAndPlants.com. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that review. I can't talk. And until next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.